Jonathan. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for having me, Godfrey. Interesting time for you to be seeing an increase in business in South Africa. Some people would have suggested that, you know, it's still too early to see the uptick in economic activity that perhaps would stimulate businesses like yours. Yeah, it's interesting. We are actually in more than 200 countries around the world um, servicing over 7 million small businesses. Um, and QuickBooks is seeing one of the largest growth countries here in South Africa and has done now for about 12 to 18 months. Sure. What do you ascribe that to? Because everybody, when you talk about last year, you hear words like difficult trading environment, difficult to get business done, and you know, disappointing growth, et cetera, et cetera. It has been. I think it's been a couple of things. I think uh, certainly over the last couple of years, the infrastructure work has actually led small businesses to the cloud. Mm. And so most of our growth we see in cloud accounting software at QuickBooks. Okay. So this is part of the trend? It's been a big trend. And then obviously more recently with the government changes, there's more and more small businesses and investment from the government in small businesses. Sure. And so we're seeing about 400,000 new small business startups in South Africa each year. Wow. That's exciting. It is. It's a very exciting time. And you're surprising me because, you know, we keep hearing about how difficult it is to do business in South Africa. And you imagine it's going to be even more difficult. But talk to us about the difficulty of a small business coping with the VAT increase like we just saw in the last budget. Yeah, well, as we know, on April 1st, the, the VAT increase here went from 14 to 15 percent. And it was the first VAT increase in South Africa for 25 years. Yeah. Now, what we saw was a lot of anxiety, a lot of small businesses, uh, a lot of consumers concerned, and, and rightly so. Obviously, it makes a difference. Cash flow is everything. Mm. Um, in the six or seven weeks since, you know, we've been working with small businesses with QuickBooks to help them realize that if they use a product like ours, then compliance is done for them. Um, whether it's the invoices, whether it's the tax regulations, whether it's their price lists, those are automatic changes. But for many of those small businesses that today are trying to do that on their own, yeah. it's a little bit more hard work. They've obviously got to make sure that they're making that change from 14 to 15%. And if they don't, they're actually accountable to the government for that percent. So they need to make sure they're charging their customers. Right. Otherwise, they're on the hook for that money. Yeah. And I suppose from a South African government perspective, this is positive for them because then it makes the job of collecting that tax easier. Well, it does. And of course, I mean, you know, that's the underlying sentiment here, which is with a 48 billion rand deficit. Yeah. Um, obviously, over the long haul, this is probably the right thing to do for the government. And yeah. I think many small businesses understand that. It is yeah. short-term pain, but over the long term, it's the right thing to do. When you say small businesses, I mean, you're talking like, for like a wide spectrum here. What are you talking about? Size? Yeah, there is. Typically, it's five or fewer employees. Okay. Um, and so these are folks, these are either project-based businesses or product-based businesses. And so it could be anything from somebody, you know, selling furniture, selling fruit, right. to somebody providing services, whether it's painters, whether it's builders. These are the folks that typically use our product. Okay. okay. It helps them basically run their accounting while they can focus on their business. Now, while you were talking, I was thinking to myself, what about cost? What about cost? It must cost a lot. Well, actually, we have a couple of different packages. It runs from about 150 Rand a month to 300 Rand a month. And so it's not too expensive, but we normally do recommend as well that these small businesses also typically work with an accounting professional. 89% right. of them tell us that in addition to QuickBooks, they're more successful when they also work with an accounting professional. Yeah. What about the skills? What have you found? The skills from the small businesses? Yes. Well, oftentimes, you know, the interesting thing is they don't want to do accounting. They want to actually focus on their small business. Absolutely, they have a passion. Absolutely, percent That's a painful part of the business. It is, and they don't really want to think about it. And so, you know, that's where we've seen so much growth over the last few years. Again, 7 million small businesses around the world using our product. Yeah. And it's because they're looking for the help with that thing that they'd rather not be focused on. Yeah. I was really surprised by the statistics you gave at the beginning of the program where you said 400,000 small businesses. That annually, what is that? What does that figure apply to? Yeah, so small businesses here in South Africa. So there's about 6 million small businesses here in South Africa. The the last couple of years, there's been 400,000 that have been new startup small businesses each year. And many of them, of course, are the sort of younger businesses that are looking more for cloud software. They understand the benefits that cloud software can help them run their business. Right. And so that's where companies like ours are seeing much of that growth come from. Sure. And where do you get those stats from? Is that people coming through to your business or these are the national figures? Yeah, these are national figures that we get here in South Africa. Globally, the stats are actually very similar. Okay. Um, again, I think it's sort of people's safety and security with their data in the cloud, people's understanding that they want to uh, do business anywhere, anytime. Yeah. They can't do that on desktop software. And so that's what's driving this huge migration to the cloud globally. Okay. So since Mr. Tumamina came in, what have you seen? 
Well, I think we've seen significant enthusiasm uh, and belief that South Africa now is in better shape than ever before. Yeah. And so, you know, I think this investment like ours, uh, we're a US-based company, although we're all over the world, but you know, obviously we're here, we're excited about South Africa, and we're excited about the future. Is that reflected in the numbers? I think it is. It is. I mean, again, what you're seeing through for people casting, coming and asking for your, 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 your software. It is. Well, we've seen the last 12 to 18 months, uh, in particular, you know, the last two or three months have been growing faster than ever. And so, again, I think uh, there is that belief here. There's that optimism that possibly wasn't there in the prior years, that South Africa is the bright market to help yeah. small businesses be successful. Indeed. Cyril, I'm sure he's listening. Thank you for coming through, Rich. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's Rich Priest. He's global leader at uh, QuickBooks.